dear civil engineers now we'll go for drawing our lift core and a staircase so first of all i'll create our lift core now i'll go to our autocad and here this is one of the point of our proposed lift core okay and here on here on and here on so we have to create four point first and we will draw our lift core i'll just go three feet 11 inch in x direction and two feet seven inch in y direction when i'm here i'll just go in that floor in basement level after that i'll click on draw draw joint object and here in x direction 3 feet 11 inch that means 36 12 multiply 3 plus 11 that means 47 clear 47 in x direction that will be positive and for y direction that will be negative because in that direction this is the y so if our uh, that points go that direction then it will be positive but if it's go opposite of that y direction that will be negative so what will be that is two feet and seven inches okay so 24 plus 7 31 now here minus 31 enter after that click on that point and see this is our one point and uh, that minus y will be okay and we need another point here and that will be opposite direction of x so that will also minus i'll click here now it's okay the two points is available now i'll just go to our that point now just see uh, what will be that distance in x direction that is 3 feet and 11 inch but here 3 feet and 6 inch okay so what will be 36 plus 6 that means 42 in y direction positive y direction Forty two and that value should be positive. Then enter. First of all, I'll create point for that and here uh, positive for that point. I'll create for that one. So we got our four point where we'll create our share all. Okay. Now I'll just skip. Okay, after completing that after completing that what will do actually now i'll go here draw sorry define pen section properties wall section 10 inch wall okay that is already available 10 inch wall and see here that is also available okay so i'll just click okay and here also i'll click okay now i'll go here draw walls okay i'll click here draw quick i'll not use draw quick all i'll use that on draw walls okay so what will be the wall section 10 inch wall and the area spire offset there are no offset should be available estate and everything is okay so from that point to that point and here to here and here to here then skip so this is our wall clear this is our wall now i'll just skip and i'll create a beam here so what will be the beam says our beam says will be 10 into 15 and that is okay you have to use that option to create beam so from that point to that point actually here it's not showing us any perpendicular point that's why i'll just go here draw then snap option perpendicular projection then apply then close now if i just come here just see 
here it's giving us a perpendicular projections here then enter again here and with that perpendicular projection it's done now what we'll do actually i'll simply copy that beam and that beam and i'll go where i'll go edit then i'll go to replicate and i'll replicate it how so for a story in basement level i have created that so for ground and story one i'll just create that i'll click apply and okay just see here also we have created so now if i go in 3d view and render view just see we have created our wall right we have created our online world actually i'll just go for another text i'll go for another text here we'll create our staircase from where we'll start creating our staircase from our basement level clear now to create our base uh, to create that i'll just close that i'll also close that and here i need three reference plane i need three reference plane to create that now how will create that reference plane i'll just go uh right click then add or edit here and i'll just go here now in that level from basement level to ground level i need <coughs> three reference plane clear now what will be the value of the reference plan we have to understand about that what will be the value of the reference plan now from amitil or basement that is six feet right and after six feet we have to divide that point we have to divide that point clear how much 10 divided by 3 6 plus 10 divided by 3 is it clear like that now i'll just go here modify or show grid here reference plane and they have another one reference point so we need reference plane now we'll click and add at how much distance away we need reference plane six plus okay six plus or 10 divided by sorry 10 divided by 3 plus 6 okay 9.999 like that so where our ops value where 9 point sorry three 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 like that like that i'll just give a maximum value so that it's give us a good value then id i'll just keep reference of one then another add another one what will be that position again we have to add three point three 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 like that clear so the another one will be 12 point 12 point 7 like that now i'll click ok i'll click also ok now click refresh and i'll click ok I'll click that and close that on now if I just go top just see here our reference level one and here our reference level two and here our reference level three so first of all I'll go bottom 
here okay and here i'll draw a slab so for that i'll use that option or i'll use that rectangle option and from here sorry from here i'll select our slab for six in slab i'll create uh, consider as we are using that one for our staircase now from that point to that point clear when it's done when it's done now we'll create some null line here okay we'll create some null line here where we'll create i'll just go here and i'll click that point from here i'll create some non line then from that point to that point perpendicular enter and from that point to that point okay and here i'll create a null line again i'll go top and here i'll create another for our another landing enter for here i'll click another okay so when it's done when it's okay now i'll just click when it's okay now i'll go for that point i mean for our rectangular slab by using that one or by using that one then this is okay six in slab and also it's okay and from that point to that point i'll create slab and from here that point or that point i'll click another create another slab okay now i'll go bottom and i'll use that option and that is okay slab uh stair slab six six sorry stair slab six six now from that point to that point okay sorry that point to that point and i'll go little bit top and here another point to another point then enter just see you can see here our that slab have created now from here from that point to also if i go here draw then snap option i'll just remove that on then apply then okay then i'll select that joint point and from here okay from here i'll just go top i'll select that joint point and also that joint point after that enter so another slab have created i'll show you after that again i'll click here here i'll go top i'll click here and i'll click here then enter okay and also i have to create a slab here so i can take the rectangular portion so here to here then enter okay our work is done now I'll save it or save our model now I'll skip skip it i'll click here and if i go view show rendered view and i just if i just show you just see this is your staircase here 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 and also here this is your staircase is it clear in this way we're able to create our staircase now after creating that what do we have to do actually i'll click here here and i'll come here and i have to select that one carefully and that one carefully and that one okay i have selected all of that five part of our staircase and after that i'll just go here 
edit replicate a story for that is for basement level to ground floor clear that is for basement level to ground floor now if i take our sorry now i have to create for story one i'll just take our mouse here and i'll click apply just see it's also have created now i'll close it and if i again go for 3d view okay so when it's okay now if i just go here view view then render view and see it's okay and here finally we have to create a slab okay here we have to create a slab for that i'll close it we just go up top and here in s3 one we need to create a slab so for that i will use that option ss6 so from that joint to that joint it's done right so our initial work of our model that is done now i'll again skip it i'll go bottom i'll go bottom and i'll select all of that point and i'll go assign joint restraint and i'll provide fix support for our structure apply then okay okay so you can see here our fix supported portion have come so that is all to this lecture and in our next lecture i will ask and load and also i'll show you how to analyze it so thank you thank you for staying with us s12 stay connected till next video